So, I want to tell you a story, okay? And it's a simple story. Well, a little more complicated than simple, I guess. And it involves quite a bit of imagination for you to understand what I'm about to tell you. I found journals of a man that lived roughly 30 years ago. I haven't finished the last journal, but this is what the first one said. I don't know what's happening. I can't understand the events before me or how I am going to go back to my everyday job. I am supposed to be the face of this company and now I look like a raving lunatic for that woman I seen. I don't understand what the boss is telling me of an insurance company dealing with it. I don't understand what is going on, how she was able to capture me the way she did, what those creatures were that saved my life, or what I am going to do to explain it away. I've been told that if I cannot come up with a good explanation, I may have to resign. I'm too young to resign. I've only been doing this job for three years. I started at the age of 25, became the face of this company. I, I don't want to resign, but I can't explain away what I saw. From my first day on the job, there were rumors. This specific factory, it has a woman's side and a man's side. On the woman's side, there are rumors about a naked man roaming outside the windows and not to follow him if you see him. Well, on the men's side, there's rumors of a naked woman and not to follow her. I've been doing this job for a few years and I have never once seen anything. I thought it was all hocus pocus, scare the new guy stuff. So I started playing along and telling every new group that I take on a tour through the factory. Oh, and if you see the naked woman, do not go out there, for she will take your life. She will take everything that is dear to you. Well, I had the same reactions from my last tour. People gasping and laughing, chuckling along with it, knowing it's all a hoax like I did. Well, I had the preconception to go and get a cigarette after the tour and went to the smoking area. Cracked window, nice and breezy. It was kind of cloudy outside, right across from the woods. And... Little did I know there was someone out there. Out across from the across from me, practically staring right at me, was a beautiful blonde woman that looked like she was in her mid twenties. She was butt naked. I don't know how to describe this. It, it was like everything inside me wanted to go find this woman. Without even thinking, I had opened uh, the emergency exit door and I was following after her, calling, Ma'am, are you all right? That was my mistake. Once I entered those woods, everything went black. The woman was gone, replaced by a hag, a beast, a rotting corpse. I don't know what it was, but I do know I can never get the sight out of my mind again. Shortly after, it latched onto me, started scratching at my face and screeching. I thought I was going to die. But some creature, something 
just a little bit bigger than a garden gnome came screaming over me right through the woman's mouth and she exploded it, it, that's the only way I can explain it there wasn't blood there wasn't guts it was just black goo the scratches all over my body and black goo as a remnant of what happened the creature was dark in color with beady glowing eyes staring at me judgingly shortly after my boss his 80 year old self comes walking out of those woods with a cane in both hands and hands me one telling me that if i need it to support myself follow him inside as i get inside i am given the ultimatum I can either resign, or I can never talk of what I've seen again. I don't know if I can never talk about this, but I do know that I'm going to get some answers one way or another.